Hello friends of Planeta Carlejas. My English is not very good. I was living in Australia for a few years, that's why. But I have good colleagues like Aranza Madrid and the lady from Google. He will help me make the video. Thanks. History. One. Millions of years ago, in the Precambrian, clay and seal sedimented. Later, by metamorphism, they became slates. Second, elevation and compression of the area. Increase in pressure and temperature. Metamorphism. Granite intrusion. Erosion to form a plane. Third, sedimentation of clays in trilobites. Fourth, tectonic tile tent and area elevation, erosion. Fifth, marine transgression with sedimentation of B e and A. Marine regression. Dinosaurs walked on a beach or swamp. Sixth, ground readjustment with normal fault, erosion of the land by a river, volcanic activity begins. Seventh, formation of a strato volcano. The Cretaceous was a period with a relatively warm climate, resulting in high eustatic sea levels that created numerous shallow island seas. These oceans and seas were populated with now extinct marine reptiles, Ammonites and Rudists, while dinosaurs continued to dominate on land. The world was ice-free and forests extended to the poles. Sedimentation stages One slate sedimentation Two sedimentation of clays with trilobites 3. Sedimentation of marl and limestone 4. Volcano Unconformities. An unconformity is a contact between two rocks, rock units in which the upper unit is usually much younger than the lower unit. There are three kinds of unconformities. Disconformities. Disconformities are usually erosional contacts that are parallel to the bedding planes of the upper and lower rock units. Disconformities are usually a result of erosion, but can occasionally represent periods of non-deposition. Nonconformities. A nonconformity is the contact that separates a younger sedimentary rock unit from an igneous intrusive rock or metamorphic rock unit. Angular unconformities. An angular unconformity is the contact that separates a younger, gently dipping rock unit from older underlying rocks that are tilted or deformed layered rock. The contact is more obvious than a disconformity because the rock units are not parallel and at first appear cross-cutting. Discontinuities 1. 
Contact between loams and clays with trilobites is a erosional and angular discontinuity. 2. Contact between shales, non-sedimentary, and clays, sedimentary, it is a disagreement. 3. Contact between the granite intrusion and the clays is another nonconformity. Types of faults F1 Reverse fault Result of tectonic forces that materials move up the fault plane F2 Normal fault Result of a strain and adjustment of the land.